So, here we go. What we learned is the beginning of what we call right triangle trig. We just started right triangle trigonometry. It's called trig o Nometry. It is the u most used mathematics in our world. Not arithmetic, but mathematics. Anytime you need to find the height of something, if you can get the angle, you can find the height of it. They use it in construction all the time when they build houses because you need to know an angle in order to take care of finding a pitch of a roof. If you're building a roof and you need the right amount of materials, if you happen to be a contractor, your dad's a contractor, right? You absolutely have to get it right. If your dad doesn't get it right, they'll hire somebody else, correct? So they have to do this math correctly. So watch. So tangent. So it's called, the abbreviation is tan, but it really is tangent, okay? Okay, the tangent of angle A. Now I use this symbol right here for angle, and you'll see it's up there, but that's my symbol for angle. It's called theta, but it's really our symbol for angle. So I will probably use that symbol most of the time because not every triangle is called ABC. We just need an angle, and I'll put that little symbol there. Okay, that symbol means angle, all right? So the tangent of any angle is always equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side, all right? So if we want to go ahead and take a look at how this is used, let's go ahead and put a... Shh, 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 shh. Let's do an example. Okay, you watching? So in our example, let's make our angle be 30 degrees, and we'll make our adjacent side be 10, okay? Watch how this works, okay? So I'm put 30 degrees here, and I'll put 10 here. Here's how it works. Tangent. So tangent of 30. We're going to write tan of 30, because we go tan of our angle. So you're going to write tan of your angle. Tan of 30 is equal to... My opposite, this is my opposite side, which is going to be, we don't know, so let's call it x, over my adjacent side, which is 10, okay? So tangent my angle, just tan of 30. Whatever your angle is, goes here. Your angle goes here. Tangent is always equal to a fraction opposite side over the adjacent side. Now. To solve this, I'm just going to multiply both sides by 10. Multiply by 10, multiply by 10, multiply by 10, multiply by 10. And my answer is just going to be whatever 10 times the tangent of 30 is. Now, I don't know that without the help of my calculator. So that's why I use my calculator. I'm going to use my calculator right here. So I'm going to go straight to 10. Yeah, times my tangent of 30, and I get an answer about 5.77. Okay, let's turn the page when you get a second, when you're done, and we'll look at some more examples, okay? This can be really easy, Ben. It can be, okay? Okay, ready to turn the page? Okay, so ready to turn the page? All right. All right, here we go. I want you to go to, okay, I want you to go to page 298, okay, now, in numbers, let's do number one for sure, okay, we don't need to do two and three unless you want me to, so it says, Find the tangents of the acute angles. So we're just going to set this up. We're not going to do any solving. So it says of the acute angles. Let's go to angle S. Okay? Everybody with me on angle S? Yes. You got to listen. It's super easy, but you got to listen. All right? If I go to angle S, you're watching? 24 is my opposite side. Do you agree with that? Directly opposite. Does that make sense? Directly opposite is to the 24. And the 45 is the adjacent side, okay? So if I go to angle S, the 24 is my opposite side, and the 45 is my adjacent side, right? So if I went the tangent of S, it would equal 24 over 45. That's it. 
That's it. Okay. Okay. You ready, Ben? We haven't solved anything. We're just setting it opposite side over the adjacent side. That's it. That's all. That's all. That's all the tangent is. Now we haven't done anything with it. We're just setting it up. Okay. The tangent is as okay. Okay. Watch. It'll make sense. Okay. As the angle increases, the ratio between this side and this side changes, right? So inside my calculator is programmed all of these ratios. Because I mean, I couldn't do them all, right? That'd be crazy. But every possible angle, that's why we can calculate. But it is measuring, the calculator is measuring the ratio of this side to this side and coming up with whatever angle it happens to be. Because this changes, right? This side to this side changes. And my calculator then will tell me what angle that happens to be. This increases, right? Does that make sense? As this side gets bigger, this side to this side creates a new angle, right? So within my calculator, you have all of those ratios in my calculator, okay? And that's what the tangent does, okay? So... Okay, but you never do it on paper. No, 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 no. Okay, so let's, it. let's go to um, number two, okay? Let's take angle L, okay? If you go to angle L, okay? Angle L, if we're going to do the tangent of L, then five would be the opposite. Does that make sense? Angle L. Right, so five would be the opposite. Seven is the adjacent. Does that make sense? So then if we're going to set this up, we'll go tangent of L, right? Because L is my angle. Tangent of L is equal to the opposite, which is 5, over the adjacent, which is 7. And that's it for now. We're going to actually use this information here in a couple of minutes, okay? Everybody okay on the ratios? It's just the opposite side. We're just setting it up. We're just setting up. We haven't solved anything. We're just setting up, okay? Now, if we go to number 4, okay, if we go to number 4, we're actually going to have to use it, okay? So let's go to number four, okay? If I go to four, here's my angle, right? My opposite is the five and my adjacent is the x. Do you agree with that? Here's my angle. Opposite is five, my adjacent is x. So I'm going to use my tangent of 10, of 10 degrees, because that's my angle, right? Five over x. Okay. So, yes, you're totally right, Ben. See, you're getting it, aren't you? Yeah. So, Ben's right. We're going to set it up, and tangent is equal to the opposite, which is 5 over the adjacent, which is x, right? Now, we're going to solve for x. So, I'm going to multiply by x. So, if I multiply by x times by x, the x will come up to here, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Multiply by x times by x times by x. So, I have x times the tangent of 10 equals 5. Okay, but I still have to solve for x yet. So in this case, I'm going to divide to solve for x. I'm going to divide, right? But I'm going to divide by 10 of 10. Now, 10 of 10 is a number in your calculator, but we're going to let the calculator do the work. So if we divide by 10 of 10, divide by 10 of 10, then my answer is whatever 5 divided by 10. 10 of 10 happens to be. That's what I use my calculator for, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to go, okay, 5 what divided by... Yes, 10 of 10, okay? If I use my calculator, I've got 5 divided by 10 of 10. We have about 28.4, okay? 28.4. Okay, let's do number 6, okay? Let's do 6. Okay? So in 6... Again, here's my angle. You always start with your angle. Always start with your angle because your angle then tells you the name of the sides. Always start with your Here's my angle. That makes the 24 my opposite, right? It makes my x the adjacent, right? Yeah. Okay, right? So we'll go tan of 31 equals the 24 over the x because it's the opposite over the adjacent, right? We'll do the same thing we did last time, right? Mm -hmm. Same thing. We'll mult. Am I going too fast? No. Okay. I'll multiply up the x. I'll multiply the x right there, and I'll have x times the tangent of 31 equals 24, right? Yeah. And then that's x times x times tangent. So if I'm solving, I just have to divide, right? Yeah. Just have to divide. 
So if I divide by tan of 31, divide by tan of 31, I've got x is equal to whatever that is. And I just use my calculator to figure that out, right? Let me help you. Okay. All right. You already got it. 24 divided by tan of 31. How about 39.9? Thank you. Okay. All right. Now, let's take a look at the next page where you see where these things can be used in like real problems, right? So let's go to the next page, 299. You guys start to get this? It's not that bad, is it? No. Okay. 94. Okay. So question eight. An environmentalist wants to measure the width of a river to monitor its erosion. From point A, she walks downstream 100 feet and measures the angle from this point to be 40 degrees. So this is 40 degrees, right? Yes. Okay. She wants to know how wide the river is. Let's call that X. You okay with that? Let's call that X, right? So she's got a 40 degree angle that she measured, right? Yes. Ben, you get this, don't you? So go to your angle, boys. Go to your angle. Opposite, adjacent, right? Opposite, adjacent. So opposite. There's my adjacent. So tangent of 40 degrees, because that's my angle, right, is equal to, yes, opposite, which is x, over the adjacent, which is 100. Now, this case, we're just going to multiply by 100, right? We're going to multiply by 100 and just put in our calculator, okay? So if I multiply by 100, multiply that up here, 100 times the tangent of 40 is what x is equal to. And again, we're just going to use our calculator to get that answer. I'm going to go... 100 times the tangent of 40, we get about 83.9. And that would be in terms of, is it feet or meters? Feet. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, how about one last problem? Let's do number nine. Okay, one last problem, we'll do number nine, so I know you know how to do this, okay? So a boy flies a kite at an angle of elevation of 18 degrees. The kite reaches its maximum height 300 feet away from the boy. What is the maximum height of the kite, okay? So let's go ahead and draw a picture. So here's my picture. Now you have to assume a couple of things in this problem. And this doesn't always happen, but it, you'd have to have some pretty gale-sized wind for this to really to be straight. Most of the time, it'd be a little bit like loopy, right? Hey, what is and, and the 18-degree angle would be off the ground. Right, right. Okay, now, we have 300 feet here, right? And we want to find the height of the kite, right? There's my kite. Again, Almost done. Start with your angle. Start with your angle. So my angle is 18. That would make x the opposite side, right? Make the 300 the adjacent side. So we'll set up tangent. Tangent of 18 is equal to my opposite side, which is x, over my adjacent side, which is 300. Okay? And then I'll have to just multiply by 300, which I will, and use my calculator to get an answer. So if I multiply by 300, 300 tangent 18 is equal to x. I'm just going to use my calculator. Ben, aren't you glad you got it, don't you? It's a cool thing. And I get an answer about 97.5 feet. Okay. All right. So you have a homework assignment that's in your computer. You all need to do this a calculator. Yeah, I don't really need those. That was just for fun. Hopefully it was just for fun.